Ross Jurgel, Becca Kufran's ex-boyfriend, five fast facts you need to know. Becca Kufran is a frontrunner on The Bachelor 2018 and she has been vying for the love of scare driver Ari Lindick on the show. But, everyone has a past and each contestant has a life outside the show. It's when the two overlap that situations become messy. Now, before we get into some major spoilers about Kufrin and the show, this is your spoiler warning. Stop reading now if you do not want to know any more details. Now let's get into Kufrin's love life. On tonight's episode of the show, a surprise visitor turns Limedick's world upside down. ABC's official plot description reads, in one of the most dramatic twists in Bachelor history, a mystery visitor arrives ready to upset Terry's dreams of a happily ever after. A determined man has flown all the way to Peru to win back his ex-girlfriend. A series of intense confrontations follows, casting doubt on which two women Ari will choose and who will be sent home broken-hearted. According to Reality Steve, the mystery visitor is Kufran's ex-boyfriend, Ross Jurgel. Get to know more about what happens with Jurgel on the show, his history with Kufran and his background below. 1. Ari Lindick is very upset that Jurgel appears on the show. According to Reality Steve, Jurgel comes on the show hoping to win Kufran back. In a preview clip of the episode, the man, who has been identified as Jurgel, is heard saying that he doesn't want to be on camera and that he just wants his girl. Lindick is visibly upset by this and worries about how this will affect his future. On the show, Lindick exclaims that, it's just kind of blowing my mind that he's here. It's fucking upsetting. I mean, right now I'm angry. I'm angry that he's here. And I've had my heart ripped open and I don't know how this is gonna end. Lindick also told Access Hollywood that, I don't know if that's ever happened, I'm not the fighting type. I'm a lover. You're just gonna have to watch. It is super intense. That's what made those last few weeks just insane when I think back on it. 2. The ex-couple met in college. Kufrin and Jurgel reportedly met in college and they went on to date off and on for seven years. And, according to Panda Gossips, Kufrin said that her ex was important because he helped her figure out what she wanted in a future relationship. 3. He reportedly helped Kufrin deal with her father's death. According to Bustle, Kufrin's father was diagnosed with glioblastoma brain cancer and he died when she was 19 years old, in 2010. She continues to miss him today. On the show, Kufrin admitted to Lindick that she was in a relationship with her ex-boyfriend longer than she should have been, partly because he helped her grieve the loss of her dad. Kufrin said that he was really there for her and helped her deal with the tragedy. 4. Kufrin is proposed to by Jurgel. Jurgel actually proposes to Kufrin, but she is caught completely off guard and, unfortunately for Jurgel, Kufrin rejects his marriage proposal. Kufrin tells him that too much has happened between the two of them that was unhealthy and she never wants to go back to that kind of relationship. Kufrin later accepts a proposal from Lindick. But, Kufrin's happiness doesn't last for long, as Lindick reportedly has second thoughts. Reality Steve reported that he realized he wanted to be with runner-up Lauren Burnham, so he broke things up with Kufrin. Burnham and Lindick are allegedly dating today. When Jurgel sits down with Lindick, he says that it's his proposal to give Kufrin, calling her the love of his life. He said that she's all he thinks about and that she is the woman of his dreams. He reveals to Lindick that they broke up about a year ago and Lindick's response is that he and Kufrin have exchanged I love yous. 5. Jurgel currently works as a football coach. According to Jurgel's Instagram account and Panda Gossips, he played football at Minnesota State University between 2008 and 2012. He has also had some gigs working as a strength and conditioning coach. Currently, Jurgel has a job as the sports performance coach at Stanford University in California.